What's happening, everybody? This is Knife Life 777 here. Um, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I have a new knife here for you today. This is a new milestone for me. Um, I'm sure y'all will realize what I mean in a, in a second. This is the first first kind of this type of knife. And uh, it's something I've been looking at for a while. Oh, this is a spidey chef. This is the Spider Co. Spidey Chef. Um, now, this is not the stock version. Um, I uh, was looking around. I wanted uh, more of a cust customized version, or I wanted to customize it myself. Um, I spent a lot of time on eBay, and I see a lot of this company called Blades We Love. I'm, not, I'm you know, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of them. Uh, they do really, really good work, especially titanium work. A lot of good anodizing and uh, just general customizations. Blades we love. So I just saw this, and it, at first it didn't look like this. Let's just let's just get that out of the way. Um, I like bronze. I like the color bronze, especially on knives. This was br bronze anodized, and I loved it. I fell in love immediately, and I bought it. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about the Spidey Chef, so I've wanted one for a long time. And I'll let you know how I felt about it after I had it for a while. First off, before we get in down to the nitty gritty, here are the specs. I'm just going to hold up to the screen. All right, so it's really hard to see, but you can kind of see it doesn't you know, it looks like really flat and like um like a flat bronze, but when you hold it in the right light, you can kind of see the way. It, it glistens well it should this is what it looked like when I first got it now it looks nothing like that well as soon as I started playing with it that bright new color on it just went right away I guess it's from the oils in your hands but it is what it is. Um, it did have the blue titanium screws, but I bought a set of the bronze to go with the scale color. Now, this is my first titanium frame lock. Um, I like it. Um, I like the blade shape. <clears throat> But, <clears throat> one thing I noticed after using it for a couple hours is the blade, especially on the edge, is super thin. Super thin. I, I cut, you know, some paper with it and I flicked it around and um, I think I opened a box or two with it and I looked down and there was already a huge chunk taken out of the edge about right here you can't really see it because um I sharpen it out but and I, I was not I was like surprised I was not happy you know um I wouldn't I wouldn't 
and this is my opinion, I would not consider this like a super hard use knife. Uh, I wouldn't do much more than open packages and envelopes with this because I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to keep having the resharpen the blade and keep putting chips in it. Um, I don't know if it had something to do with the, uh, with the heat treatment or whatnot, but, um, this, this is my first experience with LC200 and steel. I know it's highly corrosive resistant, corrosion resistant, but, um, you know, my first experience with it, uh, literally the first day, I already had a huge chip right up here, but... I don't know. My another issue I had was see these scratches right here. The pocket clip it moves a lot. When you uh open and close it, my my fingers grab onto the pocket clip to keep the knife steady in my hand and uh it moves back and forth a lot. Um I mean I like the wire clip but it's just it's just a little bit flimsy in my opinion um, another issue I had was lock stick now this <clears throat> this was um, <clears throat> supposedly the uh, the newer version of the spidey chef I know there was a the first version that had really bad lock stick <clears throat> from what I've read online and then they they made you know they kind of uh did an uh, upgraded version from what i understand with black screws and uh kind of fix the lock stick problem that, that's what i read online i'm not 100 percent sure on that don't quote me on that but <clears throat> i asked the guy from blades we love and he said that this is the newer version so well, at first, I really didn't have any lock stick. Like, it, it was nice and smooth. And then, um, after the the coating wore off on the titanium, it's, I got, like, it started sticking bad. Like, I, like, it was pretty hard to push, push it over and to shut it. Like, I was having some serious issues. I tried the whole Sharpie thing, put a little Sharpie on it. I'm just going by what some stuff, tips I read online. <clears throat> um... And, <clears throat> you know, uh, all in all, I had to just keep playing with it to get it to um, smoothen out. But now it works fine. I could flick it hard and boom. It, ha it still has a little sound to it, but it's not, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Not, n not nearly as much resistance as, as before. Um, but, yeah, I mean... I like it. It's nice, but it's small, you know. It's um it was smaller, a lot smaller than I thought. Here it is next to the Spider Code Delica. Or I mean the Endura, sorry. Here it is next to the shaman. <clears throat> it doesn't... I don't know. I guess it's really not that small. It just feels small to me for some reason. Like, it just... I, you know, when I saw it in pictures, it looked a lot bigger. But, I don't know. I'm... I like it, but, um... You know, I'm... I'm I put it up for sale on eBay already, uh... And, uh, I'm just going to move on my ventures, you know. Um, I keep, there's certain knives that I definitely keep and am not going to get rid of. But, um, you know, most knives I, you know, I play with them. I, I appreciate them for a certain amount of time. And then uh, I get rid of them, usually. And then buy more knives. You, that's the name of the game, you know. If you want to stay afloat, 
you gotta um you gotta buy and then resell you know and then find you know and keep the certain ones that you really really love so let me do a little uh cut test here for you now this blade has been resharpened but out of the box it cut like hot knife through butter still cuts because of that thin blade and that flat grind it just cuts like a dream but it's just it's just so thin Oh guys, Spider Co. Spidey Chef. Oh, before I let you go, check out my new my new shirts. Got knives? Do you? I got knives. In the back, I got the mic on. It's got my channel name on it. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> Um, this is kind of like a prototype, you know, uh, I was just put, messing around with the idea. Um, if you guys would be interested in the shirt, um, it doesn't even have to be, you know, I, I'm not doing it to, you know, to make money or anything. I'm just, you know, I've, of, of course, why wouldn't I wear this shirt, you know? And, um, for shits and giggles, I just put my name on the back. So, I don't know. Tell me, to, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, I got a whole stack of knives here, so don't don't go uh, too far. I'll be back. All right. See you later.